Thank you for that lovely introduction, Master of Ceremonies, Distinguished Toastmaster Sandy Stein. My name is Kajitan Bareto. Today I am going to talk about my perspective of work from home and what you need to do to leverage and to adapt your skills to this new normal that has been thrust upon us by the onset of COVID-19 pandemic for the last two years. I no longer know which wave of coronavirus we currently are. Are we on the third wave or fifth wave or sixth wave? Just two days ago, that's on 17th, South Korea recorded 621,000 cases of coronavirus in one day and 429 deaths. That number is more than what other countries have experienced for the entirety of the two years. The pandemic is not over. And what does it mean for us? A recent research in US uh, was conducted where 60% of the respondents said that their work can be done from home. And out of the 60% that were polled, 83% said that they already are working from home. Many organizations like Google and uh, Apple have switched to what we call a hybrid sort of work environment where you come to work for maybe one day, maybe two days, and some organizations work completely remotely. So the prevailing situation that we are currently in has changed the perception of how work can be done. And technology has stepped in very rapidly to fill in that role. Two years ago, most of us did not know about Zoom. Today, Zoom is one of the most valuable company in the world. Now, work from home is no longer limited to the back office work, IT work, finance or HR that can be done from home. We are really switching to an environment where almost everything can be done online. Two years ago, if I wanted to go and buy something from Lulu, the only way I could do that was to go to their supermarkets, whichever one was closer. Today, if you go to the phone and try to download any app, all of the supermarkets have their own app for where you can order online and they will deliver it to you. Whether the pandemic is over or no, this has now become the new normal that you first look at how you can do things online. What about at work? The work environment also has changed. When we wanted to discuss something, we would arrange for a meeting, different departments, brainstorm. Today, that is an email. Even if we do want to meet, it's now become so easy to just dial up using Microsoft Teams and you conduct your meeting online. You get the same amount of work done. At least from a perspective of corporate environment, Microsoft Teams has largely taken over as the choice for communication. As a person who is working from home, today I'm going to talk about how you can leverage yourself to become more effective and especially using Toastmasters as the platform to develop your skills to become a better presenter in an online meeting. Online meetings can be, in my opinion, used in three different situations. First of all, you might want to work from home. Your work laptop is with you, connect to the VPN of the office, or you might be working from office, but the other team members are not in office. So you still need to have that kind of environment working from home. And finally, when it comes to recruitment, I try my best not to do any face-to-face -face recruitment because I find now that it is quite possible to do a complete recruitment process using online tools. How do you leverage and stand out? Of course, the simple answer is to be seen and be heard. But that's not as easy as it sounds. What I have observed in the last two years is a very predictable phenomenon whenever I attend any meetings, what I notice is a meeting might have top managers, it might have middle management, and it will have technical people. I always notice that the top management wants to be seen and heard. So when they're speaking, they will always open their cameras and make sure that whoever is listening to them can see their face, their expression, whether they're happy, whether they're upset. So the tone is matched with the visuals to give the message. Middle management, some of them do, some of them don't. But when it comes to the technical people, 
invariably i always find that they like to stay behind the camera they will not switch on the camera when you are in a meeting do you switch on your camera this aspect of being seen and be heard is the same challenge we used to face in physical meetings we used to get scared to stand in front of others and the turning on the camera seems like the same thing when i went to my office immediately equipped myself with a camera with a microphone so that i can be seen and i can be heard if you want to overcome that fear that you have whenever you want to say something to your managers to your team members toastmasters gives you that platform because we meet two times in a month and there you get an opportunity to speak to deliver projects and that gives you that confidence how to speak what kind of uh, uh, body language you can express